Hi everybody! Today we are here in Frankenmuth, Michigan. And we're about to go into the world's largest Christmas store, Bronner's. Of course today we got Dawn's sister Denise. Yes, we're having a little, little family time here in a very cold, snow-covered Michigan. I forgot how cold it gets here in Michigan. You guys ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. Frankenmuth was founded in 1845, 175 years old. Look at these guys. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice float. And we are here at the world's largest Christmas store, Bronner's, here in Frankenmuth, Michigan. They've been in business for over 70 years, and there's actually snow. There's snow up here, but it's cold. I'm free. It is. It is. And Browners is open 361 days a year. It's Christmas here in Frankenmuth. Of course, it's Denise. Hi. So, are you are you excited we're back in Michigan? Yes. Yes. Well, let's get into the world's largest Christmas store. Get warmed up. Yeah, cuz it's cold. <laughs> Monday through Thursday 10 to 7, Friday 10 to 8, and Saturday 9 to 9. I'm back here in Michigan, and this is where my family would go during Christmas time to get a little Christmas cheer here at the world's largest Christmas store. Of course, only growing up about 50 miles away, we come here quite often. Nowadays, we go to the Christmas place in Pigeon Forge to get our Christmas on. But this place here is huge. You could probably put a hundred, if not more, Christmas places inside this store. They got everything. And at one time, I was actually able to meet Wally Bronner, of course he passed away uh, a few years back. Uh, very, very nice guy. Love Michigan. Love, well, Christmas. And now that he's gone, the tradition is still here. Denise is back there goofing around because she loves that camera, don't you, Denise? <laughs> okay, we got to get inside. It's just too cold. But at night, this whole parking lot lights up with all the decorations. We probably won't catch that because we're going to be heading back towards uh, Port Huron, but here we are. And as soon as you walk in, it's Christmas right off the bat. You can even drop off a letter to Santa. We're starting here at section two and we're gonna make our way all the way down to the end of the building. You can't even see the other end of it. Check out these cardinal. I think they're cookie jars, Dawn. They're cute. Oh, they they are very precious. They definitely have a lot of cardinal and just different oh, types of oh, Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to take all this in. You can even buy those commercial style lights that you find on your city lamp post. Check out these gnomes. They got candy corns as hats. <laughs> you see that, Don? That's cool, isn't it? Hear a message from Santa. Dial 989-596-1403 from your phone. You can actually talk to Santa, or hear a message anyways. He's a llama with a, a Santa hat. Oh wow, Don, look at these, these vintage style elves. Elves are, those are cool. Yeah, those gnomes are everywhere, aren't they? They have a little movie theater in here. They talk about the story of, of Bronner's. Activities from around the world. 
but they have a huge collection of Hummel figurines. They say there's over thousands of them. Look at that. It's hard to even take them all in. Those are very collectible, Dawn. A lot of folks like to collect. Stuff like that. Yes, and there's over a thousand of them. I wonder if this is the world's largest collection of them. It could be. Oh, they even have uh, one with a little duck crossing. The little ducks are crossing in front oh, of the policeman over there. Yes. Cute. <laughs> yeah. Look at the yeah. And they even have the nativity scenes here. Definitely cool. They have precious moments and they have 16 production steps of the figurines. They actually have some of the molds here, Don. You see that? Yeah. Of some of the oh, figurines how here. Them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, little molds. And these here are the precious moments. <laughs> wow. The snowman family is adorable. Yeah. I have never seen that many precious moments in, in one spot. You know, a little bit of everything here. Yeah, got a little bit of Easter and... <laughs> yeah, this is just awesome. People look like they're all having a good time. Getting a little, getting a little Christmas cheered on. <laughs> look at, oh yeah, there's a, there's a big duck over there. And look at, there's Santa. Yeah. Hello, Santa. Oh, there's Wally Bronner up there. Wow. So section four is pretty much a nativity scene here. But have you found anything in the section four yet? No, you know, the you know, there's like section twenty or something. So we just started. <laughs> uh, look at these guys, Don. Aren't they? Aren't they just adorable? They're carolers. Christmas carolers. Yeah. Uh, $77 for these guys here. I got my Christmas tree on. Oh, you do? It's very festive. <laughs> I love looking at their faces. Oh, there's a Frankenmuth inspired one there. <laughs> Definitely classic. It's like a Charles Dickens or something, right? Yeah. What did you find? Yeah, you can make your dog turn into Santa, right? But you see what I see behind you, Don? You could actually become Santa oh, wow. himself. Wow. They have suits here. And um Yeah, they're well of course they're They're kind of pricey, yeah. And they got beards up there. Yeah. <laughs> $17.99. $17.99. I bet you that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, Santa suit stuffer. <laughs> I don't think I need that. Uh -uh. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, you you actually put bulbs in your beard? <laughs> they they have everything here. They even have something for the reindeer. Oh wow, every time I hear, that definitely brings Christmas. In section five, it's Santa themed. A couple bunny heads up there. Everything you need for a little nativity scene. That is really cool. There's a whole village in here. Check out these Santas. <laughs> oh, they're they're awesome. Oh, he's got the Marty Moose. <laughs> yeah, and Santa's doing a little looks like a little hunting there and 
they got all kinds of them. They're all in different. He's riding a motorcycle. He's, they even have an Irish one. Christmas villages galore. <laughs> oh wow, this is like old style. You know, like Charles Dickens. They got a lot of these little villages all through here. They got them from around the world and they even have Halloween villages here. <laughs> He's in a, they're in a pumpkin. <laughs> it's a haunted, oh, it's the Haunted Mansion. Dawn, see that? From yeah. Germany? Yeah. And Frankenstein Water Tower. Got a Frankenstein <laughs> Water Tower. That's really neat. Yeah. The monsters. Yeah. Definitely lots of fun. I got a snow village here, a beautiful little church. <laughs> Love them old farm settings. Oh, Indiana's Bowling Center. I love the Christmas vacation <laughs> miniatures here. You see that? Cute. There's the Griswold's house there. And they got Snoopy and Charlie Brown. Oh, yeah. And first prize Snoopy's dog house. This is really cute here, Don. Look at this. That is the North Pole. There's little Santa. He's flying around. <laughs> A spoon full of sugar up there. A spoon full of sugar. <laughs> they probably have your favorite sports team represented here. Of course, they're gonna have some Red Wings ornaments and the Tigers too. Ornaments for musicians. They even have a some for the theater. <laughs> That'd be really cool for a theater room tree. And here's one for those who like to travel. And New York and just different travel destinations here. Oh yeah, and here's one for our friends who like to go on cruises. <laughs> a little cruise ship. Airplanes. Merry Michigan Christmas. <laughs> you got a Bronner's road trip. We're now in section eight in loving memory. They even have one for your lawyer. <laughs> this one's for Chris and Mindy. I love my rabbit. Little Stevie. Little Stevie. I was always intrigued about these when I was little. Money from around the world. I think this is where I first saw money from around the world. You know Miss Turner? Yeah. She is so crazy with everybody. Hope, love, family, friends. Grateful, thankful for 2021. Oh yeah, that is, it's baby's first Christmas. <laughs> it's got ice cream and that is a pretty tree. Let heaven and nature sing. Absolutely love this Christmas tree. Just the red and the white just set it off. That is a big Christmas tree. Look at this. All the silver and gold. Wow. It's hard to take it all in. There's just so much. There's a bulb for everything. Here's one for Hilda and Tree and Dorset and all of our friends from, from England. <laughs> that is cool. 
here's one for your special vlogger out there. Fala Lala Lama. Oh wow. Yeah. I think you found the most comfiest chair here. I guess it's a photo op. Ah, oh, it's sisters. Live and Lodge, that's a cool one. And here's one for our RVers out there. RV there yet? All different types of campers. And oh, there's a little, a little campfire one. And a tent also. This one would fit right in Nashville. I think all these would fit right in Nashville. Little, little country, western area here. Under the sea, under the sea. <laughs> Rocky Mountain National Park. They have Grand Tetons, and they're out of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park ones. Womp, womp, womp. You can't even get the Great Smoky Mountain National Park ones in, in the Great Smoky Mountains. Because people just love them so yeah. much, they sell out. They even have one for our, our veterans. Coast Guard, Navy, doctors. Did you get the... They have a whole section here on England alone. They also have Greece, and they have France. Little, little Eiffel Tower. I like that cactus tree. <laughs> oh, they also have a, a, yeah, a pinata. Wow. Yeah, and of course got a little section on Mexico here. Oh yeah, that actually sounds good. Oh, they got a little chihuahua and a taco. Shell Dawn. It's cute. This is adorable. <laughs> Avocado and toast. Avocado and toast, yes. That is pretty cool. I like him. They even have Scotland covered. I got a little little Nessie here. They think of everything. You know, it's amazing. Everything. They have Ireland. Irish blessing involved there. And oh yeah, this is the uh the Balarney Castle. And kiss the Balarney Stone. <laughs> and uh, little leprechauns. Got Australia. Happy Hanukkah. Yeah. And Sweden and Switzerland and, and Holland. And Holland. Oh, they got little pandas and ramen <laughs> noodle cups. And uh, I love Chinese food. That's actually a cool one, too. You could put together a really cool tree and all that, which is all the unique ornaments. Bigfoot Crossing? All roads lead to Michigan. Hey, Dawn, they have the bean from Chicago. <laughs> That's funny, the bean. It is the bean. Yeah. <laughs> That's really neat. Yeah. And then the Chicago skyline. Oh, they even they even have they even have one for Nashville, Dawn. See that? Yeah, I wonder if they have a Knoxville one or this a Great is Smoky Mountain. Is that in California? No, that well, yeah, that's in San Francisco. See the way it goes. This brings back a lot of memories from our Route 66 trip. They have Niagara Falls and and even Detroit. Our 
now back here in section 14 and that's where they keep all the lights and trees those are probably the biggest bubble lights i've ever seen This place is huge, we've been here for two hours and we haven't even scratched the surface. But we don't have all day, but you could spend all day here. They, they even have a lunch counter in the back. <laughs> There's Santa in a sleigh and his reindeer. <laughs> wow. Dawn, can we get the 20 foot tall Frosty to put, put in our- He's got a corn pipe in the Corn, <laughs> he's got a pipe, yes. <laughs> Nightmare before Christmas. Even old Bob Ross is over here. Looks like he's painting up some pretty trees. They have Ghostbusters and Bob Ross. No mistakes, only happy accidents. Got the leg lamp and Ralphie's bunny suit. It's actually fluffy. I think Chris would be proud. Cousin Eddie's RV. They got a drone ornament. So what did you think about our experience today here at Bronner's, here at the world's largest Christmas store? What did you guys think about it? It was awesome to come to back to Michigan to see Bronner's, world's largest Christmas store. You know, it brought back a lot of memories as a kid. This is where I used to see Santa every year, and it's just hard to take it all in. You could spend forever in there, and we just showed you just a small uh, sample. There's over 50,000 Christmas items and 1.7 uh, football fields worth of stuff but folks that's going to do it for today here in frankenmuth michigan here at the world's largest christmas store bronner's stay tuned for tomorrow's episode because we're going to be heading into frankenmuth and showing you folks we love you and we'll see you guys in the next video bye, bye everyone it's cold outside. yeah it's cold